Hello there cherished ones, um, hope you're well today. As promised here um, I'm going to show you the Vishnu Yantra we made um, on Sunday. Check that out, very beautiful. So the different colours don't have a significant meaning as such, we just chose which ones felt most aesthetically pleasing. Um, <clears throat> But the shape relates to Vishnu, um, and Vishnu is one of the trinity. You've got Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. Brahma is seen as the creator. Shiva is the destroyer, disillusionment, and Vishnu is all about preservation. So I did want to show you that, as promised. Um, okay, so today, this morning, yesterday as I explained was quite an emotional one and today I found myself feeling very irritable and angry in practice um, and really resistant to doing the work really feeling like right I've had enough now I'm gonna go home um, but on reflection I just had a really lovely conversation with one of my colleagues and quite a few of us are feeling this way maybe it's that pattern of halfway through a course a real sense of lethargy or something sets in because I'm not alone with this feeling um, we we're just talking about the biology of belief and you know how useful is all this stuff and all mantras they are quite useful I mean I'm not sure if when you say these certain words certain things happen but there is a certain that you have to concentrate when you're saying these mantras you, your mind is no room for anything else so that definitely builds up a mental capacity of focus and concentration which I do believe to be very positive and the asana practices yes physically something really amazing is happening um, spend, and this is also my friend was saying and every morning we go to the Ganga she says I'm not sure if it cleanses anything more than like any other river but being in water being in nature with the elements that's a really helpful um, amazing beautiful thing to do and when we do the fire yagnas um, being around fire again connecting to that element is also really fundamental to, to our human existence over time which we've definitely or well, certainly I have lost contact with short of lighting a few candles in my room occasionally <clears throat> um, and being out in nature you know all these things are really beneficial whether you believe in Tantra Hinduism Sikhism or you know whatever um, faith system you know these this engagement within nature is really beautiful and really beneficial um, so later on we've got uh, teaching methods earlier today we had um, anatomy again really useful in fact I'm very excited because we're learning how to continue a strong practice of yoga despite um, injuries so how do you have a solid practice working with injuries so I'm looking forward to learning more about that um, we learned about fascia, fascia which is a substance that covers every single part of our internal body it can kind of it's connected to the skin it's connected to the muscles connected to the organs even um, and there's this there's um, uh, ultimately, when we stretch and regularly move our bodies, the fascia doesn't have time to build. But when we're stiff, sat down for far, far too long, or we're kind of sleeping funny, the fascia builds up over time. So, you know, the importance of movement, yoga, walking, running, massage is really important to our, our fascia within our body. And I, I think I'll, I might talk more about this or um, in the future because it does sound quite interesting. Um, what else have I learned today? Highlight of the day. Um, I've booked myself in for a massage tomorrow. So that's going to be a time massage to release some tension in the body. Other highlights of the day. Um, it's it's not really that professional, but one of the girls here has got a son. And um, he's on some Ayurvedic medicine because he's been a bit sick. And she had to have a meeting. So I managed to encourage lovely Huxley to have his medicine. And that felt like quite an achievement because... Um, you know it's not a very pleasant thing to do um, yeah what else to say just wishing everyone lots of love um, looking forward to coming home actually but also doing my best to engage fully in this process um, yeah that's all sending you all so much love